Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today's video is gonna be uselessly useful to some of you. And what do I mean with this? Currently I've been playing uh, Genshin Impact basically since launch and I've been tryharding the heck out of the game. What does this mean? It means I am rank 36 and 50% uh, experience away from 37. So. I don't have much to do. I finished my quest at level 30 and at 32, 34 and 36 you get the commission quests and I've cleared those as well. So therefore I have nothing else to do but to get all the Geo Geoculus and the Animos from the map and also the chests that I missed but mostly I just missed the small ones because most of the, the, the ones with mobs I've just been everywhere and I've got them. So what is there, is there else to do when you're at this rank? Well. You can wait, you can spend your resin and just be out of it, but that's, you're gonna have to wait or you're gonna have to wail. Even if you wail, you're gonna have to wait because you can only refresh it like, like five times a day. So what you do, you hunt achievements. While you hunt achievements, you might notice that there is a very easy category to get here and it's very easy to get this banner for your um, player card as well. So how do you get this banner? You do it by completing these three very easy quests. So. The easiest one is the Dead Eye Dick and is strike an enemy's weak point from afar with an aim shot. This is actually pretty easy because from afar is not very far. But then you have Dach Vreischenjust, something like that. I, I'm just, I know that's probably very racist or something, but <laughs> that's what I want to call it. It's to strike, strike an enemy's weak point from extremely far away. With a, with a name shot. And I'm gonna show you how to do that, but most important of all, the most annoying, the one that will possibly let you just lose your hairs, right? Because you're gonna have to hit an eagle mid-flight with your bow. Eagles can be fight, uh, found on the Linue uh, continent, uh, and I'm gonna show you not only the common spots, but the secret spot that makes it this, this quest right here super easy. So as I said, it's useless, but it's at the same time very useful because if you're at my stage, you're gonna be clearing all these achievements. And this one's pretty cool to do because it's very simple and you get a banner card that is pretty cool with it. So let's go and I'm gonna show you first the easy eagle spots from the easiest to the hardest. Or what I mean is the most common to the uncommon that I found alone because I was exploring the map. Let's do that. First most common eagle spot that actually took me half an hour to hit the eagle on. <laughs> so first one, it's this one. We're, you, you're going to want to go to Mount Aozang and you're going to be wanting to glide off of the mountain because if you see from afar right there, you can just glide your way into one of these uh, pillars and as you can see, there are eagles flying in circles on those pillars. So one of these things you can do is there's two pillars. So the second one right there is going to be the one that is easiest for most people to hit. And it's the one I've been on to actually try to complete this achievement. And it actually took me a while because I'm a horrible shot. So I'm going to show you exactly how it looks like from the standpoint of the eagle. Not what I meant to click, by the way. You might be wondering what's happening, but I'm gonna have to show you everything because my pause record button is not really working. All right, so basically, this is one of the easiest spots to do it on. You just gotta head up here and then look for the eagles themselves. And you can either shoot that one, which I don't really advise, or you can shoot this one, which is actually fairly close. You can actually see it here, but you'll notice that even if you go onto the aim shot mode, you're probably just gonna want to aim where it passes, right? You're gonna stand like right there and you're gonna wait for the eagle to actually pass through. But you'll realize very soon that timing is of the essence and velocity is just something you have to deal with and getting close to the eagle really is something that will improve your time on doing this challenge and it's gonna make, me re make it really, really easy. So we're gonna go on to the next spot, which I think is easier than this one, but still not the best because I'm gonna tell you my secret one. The next one is right here. All you have to do is teleport to the uh, domain that is situated on the bottom uh, right of the map. You teleport to that domain and all you have to do from there is climb a huge mountain. But once you get up there, you'll see how, how close you are to the eagle. Here we go. Once you climb the mountain and you're up here, you can only do one thing. Look up. 
and you will see the eagle flying by and it's going to be a little bit closer than the other one so therefore it's going to be slightly easier to hit as you can see and also while you're here you can always jump on that pirate ship and it has like two uh i mean a, one quest line that gives you a lot of quests so if you haven't done that you can always go to that pirate ship right there but also that's it this is what the, the, the most people will see as one of the best spots because this is as close as people get. But guess what? Your boy was very, very bored. And I found a chest at the edge of the map. So therefore, instead of looking up online where the chests are, I, t I told myself, hey, I'm going to walk along the edge of the map until I find a chest. And I'm going to show you the result of that. Just in case you're curious, while I was farming some flowers near the Anemo uh, Hypostasis, this is where I found that chest, which is actually just located over here. If you go down this waterfall in the corner of the map, if you look down, you will see there is a platform down there. Where is it? I'll just fall down. You'll see there is a platform right under me, right there, and there will be a luxurious chest there. So while I saw this one, I, I thought about, hmm, maybe I should explore the edge of the map. And here we go, we arrive at the spot while I was uh, exploring this uh, edge of the map that I just mentioned, uh, I found this amazing, amazing spot for the eagle. So basically what you want to do is you want to teleport to the statue on, near the Dunyu ruins and you want to glide across the ruins and you want to land and go up on this hill that I'm standing right there. So basically this is what you want to do, you just want to exit that. <laughs> I have a lot of technical issues with Genshin on my mobile. All right, so basically this is it. You want to get here and as you can see up there, there is an eagle. The thing is, there is an eagle, but eagles are not mobs that run away from you. So basically, you can see it right here. So what you can do on this eagle right here is you can get close to this wall and you can, you don't need to use Venti, I'm just using Venti because you can climb this wall right here, okay? If you climb this wall all the way to the top, you're gonna reach a little tree. And little do you know, right here is the best spot for you to hit the eagle. Right there. Because look at the eagle. It you can see the full rotation, even if you go up, up a, bit, a little bit, you can see the full rotation of the eagle and it goes right over your head. So you can just like scooch across as close to the border as possible and you can even see her coming from fr from front which makes it extremely easy to hit even if you're a bad shot like myself you can just go here line it up when she when she does like a little straight line in front of you and then it's just a matter of timing because you don't even need to wait for the arrow to drop much you just hit it and it normally hits but my aim on the on the mobile is very very hard, hard to hit so just know that this is the spot I'm going to look in the map, just so you, you know exactly where it is. It's right there, near that little box. You go up, 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 and here you reach the point of the easiest eagle shot possible. <laughs> and you can only do this when you're bored enough to explore the map, just like that. <laughs> so on the last one for this achievement, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna check it out. So for the last one of these achievements, I also have a good spot. It's probably not the best spot ever, but it's a very easy spot to actually hit this on. So for you to do the Dach Freischutz, um, you're going to need uh, to strike a weak, we, enemy's weak point from extremely far away, but it doesn't really specify how far away it is. But I can tell you a spot that worked for me, and it's, it's fairly easy to do as well. And here we are, last spot for the last mission that you can do. So basically, if you do this, I'm pretty sure you can do both quests at the same time. Because if you hit from extremely far, you're basically hitting from afar as well. I'm not sure of that, but you can just get closer until you get the other one right. So, exactly where we are. You need to go to Stormbearer, Stormbearer Point and teleport to that teleport right there, go around the mountain and go up the mountain like I did myself. And basically, once you do that, you just go and climb the tower that has enemies. Normally, if you just clear out these enemies, they'll never respawn again, but here you go. From up here, all you have to do, you have two choices. You can either aim for this, or you can aim for the golem. I went closer to the golem, so therefore he w started walking, but normally he's gonna be sitting in the middle, so you can either go for this or for this, because he's standing still, the, 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 the slimes up here are not. But if you hit any of these with a headshot, it's, it's, it's easy, 
That one is a bit further, but because he's sitting down, it's really easy to hit his weak, spo weak spot and he never really stands up because he cannot aggro you from this far. So this is the, the spot that I did my quest and I finished my card. And in the end, it's a very cool looking card. I do have a pay to win one, but as you can see here, I can change the name card and I can swap to this one. And it's a very, very cool card. So as you can see there, uh, you're just going to be a little bit different because if I go to my friends, because I've told them this, they all have it. And otherwise, you're just going to have this red one from the from the normal questing that uh, happens. So if you want this cosmetic right here, uh, I, I thank you so much. And uh, let me know how it went for you. Do you like my eagle spot? I think my eagle spot is unique for sure. And I've never seen anyone do it because I don't think anyone's stupid enough to just go around the border looking for chests when there's maps that can tell you exactly where chests are. And by the way, there's no chests where I was. <laughs> but now you know the easiest eagle spot in the game. Um, if you find an easier spot, let me know in the comments. But for me, I'm pretty sure this is the easiest one because you're closer, you see the full rotation. Very easy to hit the eagle there. And that's basically it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. And that's it. See you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.